What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been absent for quite a while now and it really does suck because it's really difficult for me to actually figure out what I want to do with this fucking channel. I keep telling myself, hey, why don't you do comedy? Why don't you do weightlifting? But then you look at it and it's like, I can't fucking stick to either of those things. I decided, well first off, let's do this. Why don't you guys go ahead and like and subscribe because you know that you want to watch every single video even though I may not post every single fucking day. But that's okay. I can't daily vlog. It doesn't work that way. It's every day, bro. I get like these sporadic moments where I get encouraged and inspired to do something and then about a day later I'm like, well fuck, I don't want to do it. I don't want to edit. I don't want to go through the motions of doing this and doing that, doing this and doing that. But then I get there and I sit and I look at it and I'm like, I want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and fucking do it. Today what I wanted to do was I wanted to do 2018's questions of the day. Okay. Since it's 2018 and <laughs> now it's a month after 2018, you guys don't know that because you have no idea when I started filming this. Shut up, you have no idea what my life is about. I have not looked at these questions yet because I didn't want to. I wanted to surprise myself and I wanted my answers to be genuine instead of scripted. Question number one. What is something that everybody looks stupid doing? I hate it when people talk on their Bluetooths because I can't fucking understand if they're talking to me or if they're talking to somebody else. It's so obnoxious to me when I'm sitting next to somebody on the subway. <laughs> I live in Reno, there's no subway. When I'm sitting in an Uber and the driver starts talking to you but you can't understand if they're talking to you so you just start answering the questions. And then the questions get a little bit more personal and then they start asking, well, what color was the shit? Was it brown? Was it purple? Was it green? Was it tan? And you're like, well, I mean, my shit lately has been like a creamy yellow color, creamy yellow poop. And that, I mean, if that's what your question is, oh, I wasn't talking to you. And you're like, oh, of course you weren't. I'm just kidding. I was answering that question over there. That guy asked me something too. <laughs> okay, question number two. What is the most embarrassing thing you have ever worn? Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. Majority of my outfits are a little bit more exotic than most people's. So I can't really say that, I, well, nowadays I'm kind of boring. I'm like super boring. I wear the same exact fucking hats almost every day, so it's kind of like meh. I just went shopping for Christmas and it was really nice because I get a lot of Under Armour stuff because I really love Under Armour gear. I don't think any of my outfits are embarrassing, otherwise I wouldn't really wear them. I mean, if we're talking about costumes, then that's totally different because in high school I used to be in musicals and stuff like that, so those were pretty embarrassing. When I actually, I think I was a fork in Beauty and the Beast. I mean, it traumatized me, but it's okay, that's fine. I'm, I turned out great. <laughs> So it's not something that I think is embarrassing, but I think other people think it's embarrassing. I actually have these red pants that I really love wearing, and I think they might be in here somewhere, but they're like kind of a dark red color, and I really love them. I don't find them embarrassing. I think that they look good. I think that I period blooded all over my pants. Someone period on my fucking leg? Oh, shit. Which is okay, because that happens on a daily basis. It's normal. Don't judge me. Question number three. In one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? judgmental, and shitty. Hello? It scared the shit out of me. That was my ghetto lamp hitting the camera. <laughs> oh, come on. What is the weirdest place you've urinated or defecated? Okay, on somebody's chest. What would be the creepiest thing you could say while passing a stranger on the street? One of the main things that I've wanted to do for the longest time, and I think I'm gonna do it, but what I've always wanted to do was I've always wanted to run up to somebody frantically and look at them and be like, They're here! Ignite the tractor beam! I don't think it'll go well because honestly, that's really fucking stupid. What is the most imaginative insult you can come up with? Okay, this is not what I've come up with. This is actually from a movie, and it's probably me and my sister's favorite insult in the entire world. Cock juggling thunder cunt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Saying it, it just, it makes me happy. It is the greatest combination of insults in the entire world. Can you imagine going up to somebody and saying, you are a cock juggling thunder cunt? To just see their reaction? <laughs> they would, I don't even think anybody would be able to come after you because they'd be, their jaws would be on the floor wondering, did he actually just say cock juggling thunder cunt? Yeah. I fucking did. Toilet paper over or under? Well, I don't have a vagina, so I don't really understand the question. I think women wipe back to front, or is it front to back? But then men, I mean, we'll just kind of get in there and start just wiping. I don't think we have a plan. I don't think we really think about it and be like, hmm, should I wipe over or, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> the question is not fucking, idiot over here. The question is over or under, which means do you put the roll of toilet paper on the holder over or under? 
I am so sorry. <laughs> I misunderstood the question, can you repeat it? <laughs> What scene from a movie scarred you for life? Now, I don't know about any of you guys, but when I watch now, you know, back in the day, it was really difficult for me to see people actually get mutilated and cut up and like chopped up into billion pieces and gutted and watch. I didn't, I didn't like that stuff. I actually hated it. And now, I don't know if this makes me like a serial killer, but I actually Google crime scenes from like Ted Bundy, from you know all the serial killers that were famous back in the day. I love that stuff now. I used to get queasy. So the movie scene that scarred me for life, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen this, but House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah, that movie's got some fucking issues. That movie is just, oh my God. Like why, I swear, I can't even, I can't even keep talking about it, it's over, it's done. That one, that one, that movie, whole movie, not just a scene, the whole fucking movie. What is the most important file on your computer? Who's asking? What's the most important file on your computer? Nosy? Ooh, this one's a good one. Would you rather relive the same day for 365 days or lose a year of your life? I mean, <laughs> losing a year of our lives is not that bad, but I mean, if you die when you're old, then it's not bad if I die at 99 instead of 100 because I'm gonna live for fucking ever. Or you could relive the same day over and over again for a whole year. My question is, can you choose that day? <laughs> this one's very, very triggering. Would you rather be married to a 10 with a bad personality or a six with an amazing personality? So I would choose probably a six with an amazing personality because I fucking cannot stand when a beautiful woman or a beautiful man and they have a shitty personality and then you just, you're like, why did God even put you on this goddamn earth if all you're gonna do is have a shitty personality, treat people like crap? I'm sorry, I just spit everywhere. <laughs> Like, what is the point in that? You were put on this earth to what? To look good, but not to talk? Like, please don't speak. Please don't speak. Shh. Because when you do, I'm gonna fucking punch you in the face. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap up the question and answer segment. I know that that wasn't as fun as some of my other videos, but I'm just coming back. I promise you guys, I'm gonna start doing more things. If you guys want to, comment below and let me know what you guys wanna see. What do you guys want me to post? I know that there's some people that watch these gosh darn videos. I've been cussing through the entire thing and I use gosh darn in the fucking end of it. So like I said before, I'm trying to figure out what I want my channel to be. I know I've said this in past videos, but it's really honestly true. I'm trying to figure out what my niche is, what my nacho is, what my niche is, what my niche is. Trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with this channel. And I think what I want to try and do is just a few different, I don't want to do fitness, I really don't. I work out all the time, so it's not really fun to post it on YouTube. I really just want this channel to be fun. I want it to be trying new things. I want it to be exploring new territories and my life and your life and everybody lives being nosy as shit. I'm trying to get my sea legs back so that I can get new videos out, post new stuff. I know that my videos are sporadic and they're like, hey, when is he gonna post again? If he's gonna post again. I've gotten quite a few people that keep asking me like, why are you not posting more often? Well, I have an answer to that. I'm fucking lazy. <laughs> I'm trying so hard, you guys, I promise I am. I have a full-time job, no excuses, but I have a full-time job. So coming home, shooting, like right now, it's fucking six o'clock and I'm trying to shoot my video and then I gotta go fucking edit my video and then I gotta put it up. So it's getting a little bit more difficult to be able to do things like that. But please, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. I love you all so much, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon, bye. Titties.